I'm gonna mute my mic. I'll let you continue the recording. All right. Do you want me to begin once more? All right. The first school of magic is abjuration. Abjuration is spelled as a protection, blocking, and banishing. Specialists are called abjurers. Abjuration has two categories, which is counterspell and banishing. Counterspell is to nullify the spell, to say the opposite of it. Well, banishing is to simply swat it away and send it somewhere else. The next category is conjuration. Conjuration is spells that bring creatures or materials. Specialists are called conjurers. Conjuration has two subcategories, conjure and teleport. Conjure is to create, while well, teleport is simply to, well, teleport. An example of it is to teleport a cup from one side of the room to the other. Well, conjure is to create something that's never been made before. The third category is divination. Divination are spells that reveal information. These specialists are called diviners. There is two subcategories, foresight and prophecy. Foresight is to be able to see small glimpses of this future, either minutes or even seconds. Prophecy, on the other hand, is to be able to see into the far future, maybe years, maybe millennia, or even decades. But they're not always 100% accurate, but the future will probably go along the lines of it. Especially a good prophet is one who gives exact detail. The fourth school of magic is enchantment. Enchantment are spells that magically imbue the target or give the caster power over the target. Specialists are called enchanters. There's two subcategories, charm and compulsion. Charm is basically to woe the target, to make them want to do something. Well, compulsion is to drive your will over theirs, basically to turn them into your slaves. They would have no control whatsoever while in charm. They don't want to do it. The next category is evocation. Evocation are spells that manipulate energy or create something from nothing. These are basically the elements. Specialists are called evokers. There is five different, well, there is six different elements. There is air, water, earth, fire, lightning, and the obscurest one, the void. The void by far is the most dangerous one, but it's very uncommon. The next category is illusion. Spells that alter perception or create false images. Specialists are called illusionists. There's multiple forms of illusions, but the most powerful one is shadow. That's because shadow derives into all categories to make you see somebody using magic from the other categories when it's really only just an illusion. Some illusions are even powerful enough to change reality. The next category is necromancy. Spells that manipulate life or life force. Specialists are called necromancers. There's two subcategories, life and death. Life is to, well, give life, to bring someone back. Well, death is to, well, kill someone, to remove life. The next category is transmutation. Spells that transform the target. Specialists are called transmuters. There is two types of subcategories. There is enhancement and transform. Transform is to change the shape itself into something completely different. Well, enhancement is only to, well, enhance it. It will still be the same thing as it was, just better. And the final category, the ninth one, is universal. It's basically the safety net out of all of them. Any that does not fall into the other categories falls under this one. Two major ones that fall under this category is the forbidden magic of time, once again, should not be used, for it is very dangerous, and the guardian of time forbades it. And the other one, which is one of the most powerful, is crafting. Most people do not think crafting is a powerful one, but yet it is, because it once again breaches into all other schools of magic. It will give you the ability to use one you're not able to use yourself. All types of crafting, well, most of them, are usually conduits. And that's the nine schools of magic and their subcategories. There's many more, but these are the main ones you need to know. <coughs> oh, that's a lot. 
forbidden magic of time equals you don't see, fucking do it. You see, if, if you're <laughs> so fast, 